QuickBooks Ruby Base gem is made to complement the QuickBooks Ruby gem, which is the canonical gem right now for connecting to the QuickBooks Online version 3 API. And this gem, QuickBooks Ruby Base, was extracted out of a real world consulting project I'm doing. So you get the have some of this excellent professional extracted code to use in your Ruby or Ra Ruby and Rails QuickBooks integration. Let me demonstrate by showing and uh, in your gem file you're gonna need to have of course QuickBooks Ruby the QuickBooks Ruby base gem. I'm pointing to the Git location for QuickBooks Ruby. You don't have to. Um, and you don't have to here. I do have it on Ruby Gems. So you want to bundle after getting those two. And let's go over to the Rails console to see what this gem does and how it's going to make your life better if you're doing an integration project. Okay, I'm in the development console and uh, to use the gem, it can be a little tricky because the way I designed it is you need to know the location of the OAuth information in a the persistent location, so like in your database. Therefore, what you have to do, and it's documented in the in the README here where it says. Um, Okay, configuration section. And here you have to set up where you are saving the persistent information for the token secret and the company ID. Okay, so what I have here in the README is put it in, you're, you're going to have this file already in your, let's just say your config initializers if you're doing a Rails project or wherever you're doing it in a Ruby project. Uh, you're going to have this information. This is from the README in QuickBooks Ruby. Uh, here, add this to you to configure where these persistent uh, information is, the token secret and company ID. So again, this is a Rails project. So in config, initializers, QuickBooks RB, I have that here. calling it QB token, QB secret, and QB company ID. Now as a default, the default is um, settings dot QB token, settings dot QB secret. I think that's pretty orthodox across a lot of, or good practice across a lot of Rails projects is to use that settings um, association to an account. So what you would do is set that up. You have to set this up first. Get that all right. And simply to get started with let's say a service in QuickBooks Ruby, like you want to query customers, what you would do is I'm just going to call this base QuickBooks base and new. You'd put that account in where that persistent location or is that persistent information for the well, basically the account you want to connect to QuickBooks online. So that's for me in this test account is just the first account I have and I'm going to pat as a second argument to to um, QuickBooks base new is the service that I want to create. In this case, it's going to be customer. Okay, I just nailed out that just has a lot of output to the console. But uh, let's look. So we have the QuickBooks base class. But if we go to service method that's being exposed, we can see we have a QuickBooks service customer, and and that just 
there's probably about six lines, seven lines, eight lines of code that you need to do to generate this step that's all done for you behind the scenes. So you could do something like query, base service query. This will get you all the, if the QuickBooks Ruby gem, if you just pass query, by default you'll get all of your customers, or at least the first 20 of your customers. So this is very, just gem, gem is very handy in the command line, but it's it can be very handy in your code too. Let me demonstrate just some of the namespacing niceties that uh, the gem gives you. For example, if you wanted to create a new customer, you need to initialize a customer model to start with. And there is a method exposed called QR model, so for short for QuickBooks Ruby model, that you could use in this fashion. And it, it generates a pretty simple um, initialization of this model, but you don't have to type it out each time. Now, probably in your code, you're a developer already exposed to QuickBooks Ruby. That's why you're watching the screencast. You're going to have this extracted away, excuse me, abstracted away in your code, but you don't have to do that anymore if you're using this gem. You, could, you just get it built in right there. So you're not typing a bunch of namespaces or creating this uh, code that creates the namespaces uh, across your projects or with doing new services and um, to communicate with on QuickBooks. You can also pass multiple arguments to QR model. So I can't think of one for customer, but for invoice, I know there's a bill address. So you can pass as many arguments as the model will take. There's an email address model that takes one argument. So like, be like customer email. Now that that's for bill address for invoice. So, so I'll just exit out of that line. But if the model took more arguments, and there's a great multitude of models in the QuickBooks Ruby gem. You could just pass in all those arguments to the, to the model. Another, and really the last feature of the QuickBooks Ruby base gem is a method called show. So again, we have the current service we have is the customer service. So I could just do base dot show. And what I'll get back is a array of the customers for this account. This is my test account, so I just have a bunch of nonsense in here. But what it does is it gives you the, the QB ID and a description. Now, it is pretty smart for the, depending on the service, so if you have a payment or an invoice, it'll show the document number. Uh, for some of the other services like tax code, whatever the quick description, which will give you the more of um, the context of what this thing is actually, and its QBI, or what its description is, it'll give you depending on the service. So it's a nice, I use the show all the time. A lot of times in testing, I need to get a right reference for a customer if I'm doing an invoice. Payments the same way if I need an item. You need the reference for, for testing. Or if I'm switching f through accounts, like for example, you can just go through all of your accounts and do a quick show of whatever you're looking for for an invoice. Uh, what have you, a payment or whatever it is. So show is really handy so you just don't have to be typing the base service query all the time and then mapping it and then writing out what the description is, um, looking what are you looking for the ID. So show is a really really handy method for that. The show method is probably one of my biggest motivations why I wanted to create the gem so I could reuse it across 
projects. Um, just found that I needed it so much. Now you can also pass many things to show because it only takes the first 20 it, uh, results. So you can pass in different arguments there. It basically works the same as query in QuickBooks Ruby. So you can pass in all of the options to query into show also. And lastly, let's just take a look on how the code itself to the minimal cast tutorial would be affected. So let's open up the con vendor's controller. Uh, if you saw that screencast, there's a set QB service that happens before quite a few of the actions. Basically, all this could have go and you could do something like you would put the account in here let's just say that was an instance variable too so this is all you would have now then like on let's just take Go up a little bit further and see how. Okay, here was the create action from the minimal cast. This would be replaced just by base QR model. Something like that. Here would just be base service. So you see how it just cleans up the code. We just got rid of about four lines and then made this one shorter. So I hope you enjoy the gem. I hope you use it. There's quite a few new methods we can add to it if you want to contribute back to the gem and make it better. So thanks for watching.